A good day to all. Today, I would like to deliver a speech which topic is criteria to be an ideal teacher. The teacher and risk recognized are plentiful, but ideal teachers are race of the rarest. Everybody can be a teacher, but an ideal teacher is one in a million. An ideal teacher can make a lot of great students. It is an acknowledged fact that an ideal education cannot be imparted in absence of an ideal teacher. An ideal teacher is one we respect from our heart. He acts as a guide to the student, but at the same time does not push them too much. A perfect teacher motivates the student and boosts their moral. He tries to encourage the students and refrain from criticizing them. Such a teacher prefers to give positive motivation to students. His comments are always constructive. With an ideal teacher, we will find that we have learned something new at the end of every lesson. My perception of an ideal teacher is of a good human being, kind, compassionate, understanding and forgiving, someone who is interesting and fun-loving, someone who loves us and can make teaching interesting. Teaching is considered to be a noble profession, but today, People opt for this profession without giving a thought to the sacrifice, commitment and dedication it needs. There are many teachers, but it would not be a wrong to say that. Very few have the aptitude and attitude to become teachers. Any are in these professions more for the sake of earning money. An ideal teacher is one who loves students and can inspire them, he knows his subject well and can make it so interesting that children do not get bored. When he teaches, the students are spellbound. An ideal teacher is a good actor who can put life into any dull topic. Students want to be in the class by choice and not by force. He has a good sense of humor, can laugh at him and also laugh with students. He does not get angry easily and enjoy each moment of being with students. He is like a friend in whom the student can confide easily without the fear of being radical or criticized. He is ready to accept his mistake and does not hesitate to apologize too. An ideal teacher should have many qualities. A student remembers such a student, uh, sorry, the such a teachers for long. The effects of his personality on student last long. He must try to win the heart of all students. He should try to establish a kind of relationship and bond between the hearts and mind of himself and the students. An ideal teacher should be a scholar. He must have the knowledge of the subject he teaches in the class. He should teach the subject in an interesting way. He should be able to make the student really interesting in their subject. An ideal teacher should express well, should have a good voice and must have love for teaching. The student should feel that their minds are growing under his teaching. An ideal teacher deal with the subject well. He makes his subject interesting too. An ideal teacher is the one who makes his students think and enhances their creativity. He not only passes information to them, but also develops love for learning. He activates the minds of his students. He teaches them how to think and grow logical power. He brings into play the hidden mental powers of students. He must be a man of idea. He should explain things in a scholarly and interesting way. An ideal teacher must be a man of culture. He should have a sense of duty and responsibility. He should be honest to himself, to his students and to his profession. Man making is the central function of an ideal teacher. He is an engineer of soul. In other words, an ideal teacher is a student's friend Physiolopher and Physiolopher guide. 
Students have a tendency to assume that their teacher will come up with a solution for all their problems. This is the toughest test of a teacher-student relationship. Teachers are largely responsible to solve the problems of their pupils without expecting anything in return. The student will then learn to look up to the teacher because he or she has the answer for everything. The teacher should always maintain civilization in the classroom and make sure everyone gets along. It is the main yardstick of being an ideal teacher. It is very important for a teacher to understand the psychology of his or her pupils. Every student is different from the other and will react differently to situation. All students cannot be equated and therefore need individual attention. And ideal teachers know where the student lack and what their requirements are. He or she never fail to comprehend the needs of students and try their best to fulfill them. He or she will treat all students equally but at the same time teach them in a way which is easier for the student to learn. So to conclude, an ideal teacher will be a teacher who without any thought leaves an impact in mind throughout the odyssey of my life. A teacher might be great scholar, but until he is unable to create an interest, curiosity to learn, zest of liveness in learning, bound of understanding, friendliness, trust within his pupils, I would not consider him or her my ideal teacher. I visualize my ideal teachers to be an incarnation of a motivator, facilitator, to facilitate me with pearls of knowledge, Fisolofer, whose Fisolofer becomes an epic book for me to be referred forever and a friend in the time of the spire encourage me. I would love to become an other student of an ideal teacher who is synonyms of honesty, truthful, straightforward, humble, knowledge bank and charismatic personality. Above all, there should be a good human being to present this work, his carbon copy with all imbibed knowledge. That's all for my speech. Thank you.